now on WSAR's Breakfast Club. It's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. All right. Pleased to have along with us, of course, President Laura Douglas. Hey, Laura, good morning. How you doing? Good morning, Jack. I'm well. How about you? All right. Great. Uh, good to have you along on a rather dismal Monday morning, but at least it's not too cold. But it will get cold tomorrow morning. So if you're out and about on the campus, you want to bundle up, that's for sure. So things have been going along very well. I know you're doing so much on campus with uh, with testing and, and then, of course, with the, the vaccinations. Uh, but let's uh, maybe switch topics for just a little bit. Tell us a bit about Bristol Community College's new Parrington Advancement uh, Pathways Program, and it's designed, of course, to support uh, student parents. Yes, you know, at Bristol Community College, um, most of our students are actually in their mid to late 20s. That's our average age. So, of course, that means that many of our students are already parents, and it's really challenging to balance education while you raise children. Uh, and so we have a brand new grant-funded program uh, that we're recruiting parents for right now, and that's a program that will provide uh, support both in and outside of the college through case management, financial and career planning, counseling, and a lot of different wraparound academic support services so that we can get these students to uh, graduate and get out into the workforce and uh, earn a, a sustainable wage. Um, the population for this group, HEC, uh, is uh, really it's open to um, all, all mothers and, and fathers that are learning at Bristol, um, but we really are hoping, to to reach populations that uh, have um, a real uh, desire to complete college, such as single mothers, uh, who are heads of households, are low income, and are uh, black, indigenous, and people of color groups. So uh, we're really hoping through our mentoring program, which is a component of this, we can bring in a very diverse student population uh, and help get these parents um, through college and, and into the workplace. Yeah, great idea, great idea. And uh, provide for those uh, for those uh, students' parents uh, to uh, Go ahead and uh, come, you know have a have a uh, a skill to go ahead and and provide for the kid and all of that and uh, so that's great I love that that's a, that's a great idea to yeah. yeah it um what one of the things that makes the program especially powerful is that there is a lot of uh, intersectionality not only through our women's center which is leading the effort but also with our multicultural affairs area, disability services, admissions and advising, of course, financial aid, career services and career counseling. Um, and also, uh, you know, each of the students who are participating will not only have a peer mentor, a fellow um, student at the college, but they're going to have a professional mentor, someone in the community that will help them stay on track, look at those big goals, which are, you know, post-college career uh, um, and uh, really providing not only just guidance uh, from experience, but also a lot of encouragement. All right, that's great. That's good stuff. Uh, now, uh, Laura, is this available at all the campus sites, or is it just uh, at the main uh, site? Well, it's, for now, the program is virtual because we are in a virtual uh, world, and then we'll see about uh, transitioning it to um, to our campuses uh, once uh, once we have the go ahead for um, coming back face to face. So that. That's a great question and uh, a little bit yet to, to be uh, determined. Determined, yeah. What, what's your sense? Do you think you'll get back in the fall? Is that, is that, is that a, are you confident that, that maybe that, that'll be the case? Yes. You know, we're planning for uh, what we call hybrid face-to-face -face classes, uh, which would be, um, you know, some face-to-face -face and then some uh, online. Uh, we, we recognize that, um, uh, it will still be important for people to wear masks and to be six uh, feet apart. Uh, so our classrooms won't hold as many people as normal, but uh, the idea is that we will balance 
uh, as much face-to-face as we possibly can given those guidelines. And we'll, of course, we'll continue to lead with safety. That's really the number one goal, um, making sure that our college community um, is in a safe learning environment. And we recognize that things are going to change, maybe go back and forth a little bit, um, but we're ready to roll with the punches and do whatever we can to support student success. Yeah, good for you. Well, I think we all have a sense that hopefully there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel there that uh, we maybe will be back to some almost normalcy, maybe by the fall or close to the uh, the winter season. But we're just kind of hoping that that'll, that'll be the case. Uh, in the meantime, we just have to kind of stay vigilant, stay safe, and do the right things. Uh, wear the mask and social distancing and and uh, wash your hands and all of those things that we were, we kind of repeat over and over again. Now, one one other quick question before we wrap it up, uh, uh, Dr. Doug, uh, President Douglas, we uh, we uh, know that Bristol recently has uh, been designated as a military friendly school, and also the college's Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center. Right. So we were just designated a military-friendly school again, and uh, it is uh, wonderful to have that honor. Uh, It just shows that the college is doing the very best uh, and the very most to embrace our military service members, veterans, and spouses of veterans who are students. Uh, We do have uh, the Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center. Uh, It provides uh, services to – it's a one-point single stop – for all of our veterans, for uh, educational benefit uh, counseling, uh, resources, uh, clubs, connections. Um, so we hope that students will um, contact our, our Joseph A. Marshall, Marshall Veterans Center for any support that they need. While we don't have a physical, uh, we don't have services in person, we do have all of our services uh, virtually. Uh, we have a, a new uh, director of our center, uh, Denny Cosmo, who is just uh, there ready to help any student or um, spouse or child of a veteran um, get enrolled in college and to learn more about all the resources that we have um, to, to support students through their academic career. All right. Boy, I tell you, it's busy, busy, particularly at that the main campus on Ellsbury Street with you're doing testing and, uh, and of course, providing uh, facilities for vaccine uh, vaccinations. And uh, so it's been something, that's for sure. But uh, thanks to Bristol for being uh, there and doing all of that. Uh, President Laura Douglas, we appreciate the monthly visit. You have a wonderful day and we'll be in touch. Thank you, Hack. Take care. All Take right. Day. There she goes. Thank you. Thank you.